Okay, welcome on board the uh, right stuff. Hey V-Riders and uh, thanks for joining me again for another video. Today I'm at the MCN Festival in Peterborough and I'm riding the uh, Harley Davidson Knights of 1200. I don't know what your full title is, Sportster. Yeah, um, I see I'm a, a self-confessed Hardy fanatic so I'm looking forward to this. Um, not too sure on the exhaust mate so far. Let's see if I've ever... Okay, so on board you know stuff. The uh, first little issue I had was trying to put my uh, feet forward in a cruiser position. And obviously... <laughs> uh, the pegs are not there. <laughs> this is like a... A regular riding position, so... Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Um, so first impressions. I'm liking the riding position. Very neutral. Slightly bent forward, so in a slightly sporty riding position. Finding the, uh, the rear brake lever with a touch high for my liking Ooh. and the uh, <laughs> uh, yeah the uh, gear shift lever isn't in the ideal position for me but presumably that could be addressed so but yeah it's a uh, Nice place to be so far actually, I'm liking this riding position Even if I was uh, looking for the foot forward riding position <laughs> Yes, it's pokey for a sportster It's a good looking bike this is, a little bit too much plastic down the bottom but apart from that It's a good looking bike <laughs> yeah, I'll keep uh, keep putting it into neutral. <laughs> so yeah, nice riding position. Seat feels nice, comfortable. That screen is doing a decent job of uh, deflecting air towards the top of my helmet. Yeah, so there's a fair bit of uh, wind blast so far. Gearbox, typical hardy. Clunky, but uh, effective. That front brake isn't too bad, actually. Yeah, um, the gear shift does need a bit of a, a firm push on it, yeah, so again, if you're in the bike, it's uh, you could get used to that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this engine is nice, it's not, um. Not gonna rip your pants off, but it sounds nice at full chat as well. Oh. 
Yeah, so I'm aware of the wind blast. There's no denying that. <laughs> yeah, front brake, brake is uh, really good actually, it's surprising. Yeah, not the only thing I'd say is it's not very progressive, it is straight away took on it and you it's like an anchor. Rear brake, not so much. <laughs> Lovely torquey engine. I don't know the specs for this bike because I didn't know I was going to be test riding it today. So I'll flash them up on the screen now. So in terms of uh, feel from like the controls, everything feels really nice actually. The, uh, the levers, the front brake and, and clutch levers are really nice. Actually. Buttons. Yeah, all feel good, reassuringly really solid. No issues there. Third gear now at 50. <laughs> Love it. No rev counter though, so they want it on your screen, you got your speed on. So the speed is probably a little bit difficult to read at a glance. Yeah, the uh, dash is uh, pretty basic really, you got your Fuel gauge, you've got your speed, fuel gauge and uh, gear indicator. Mirrors are fairly effective actually, those barring mirrors. I'd be a bit worried about filtering though. But yeah, I can see plenty behind me. I think it look really, really cool. <laughs> I do vibrate a bit though. <laughs> So let's go have some bumps. Yeah, the suspension is a bit harsh. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding that uh, rear brake. It is quite high, so you have to be aware of that. Slow speeds, manoeuvre, manoeuvres. Seems all right so far. Yeah, really nice. And putting your feet down. This is a low bike, so no issues there. A little bit of a wobble there, actually. I'm not putting away. But yeah, it is. It's okay at slow speeds. Suspension is generally okay, it's just a bit harsh at, uh, on digger bumps, let's say. Yeah, put a uh, shifting up on the gear shifter, you have to properly give it a tug. It's a uh, typical Harley, Harley really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the brakes are really effective. Those round corners are all right, actually. I 
think it's better on the It's actually better around faster corners than the slow ones. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, that, that motor sounds uh, like a lawnmower at a standstill, but when you're going for it, it sounds glorious. It's crying out for an aftermarket system. So yeah, this feels like a really nice place to be. I like this riding position. The seat is comfortable. Suspension is okay, but it's just a bit, a bit firm on uh, on the old bigger bumps. Bigger, like, yeah. So not super smooth, but not something I'd say. I'd want to change straight away. <laughs> it's actually um, in a shower. Some forks in a state. So this is. Uh, An engine that supposedly I think it likes to be revved actually. <laughs> Do you know what? We're not doing city speeds, but because you can feel the wind hitting it. I'm going to ride in position because you're a bit low down. It, it, it feels like you're going faster than you are, so... If you want to conserve your uh, license, then this would be a good bike. So, let's try in six gear, so... Six gear at 60 miles an hour. Yeah, but uh, So... It's okay, but he doesn't like it. It'll manage, but the first being in the lower gear. Yeah, I like the minimalist dash, but the only downside is. You can't, it's difficult to work out your speed at just at a quick glance. Yeah, considering that, I think it's, yeah, it's just a single front disc. It's doing a really good job actually. <laughs> right, going through a town where we're going to be like, well, we've got a tunnel first, eh? <laughs> oh no, this thing's going to be good, isn't it? Yeah, you can feel at a really slow speed, you can feel a bit of a wobble. Yeah, it's not uh, major, but uh, something to be aware of. So getting your feet flat on the floor on this is no problem. I mean, I'm five foot ten, and uh, yeah, this is a perfect bike for shorter rider. Keep trying to put my feet forward. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say this is a 
perfect town bike but it does the job I think it's more comfortable on open roads but in town but then that's what this bike is designed for isn't it So, is this a competitor to my uh, Speed Twin? I always compare this sort of bike to my Speed Twin. Oh, definitely, yeah, this is uh, pretty much a uh, worthy competitor. Uh, the only slight issue I'd say is the price. I mean, the Speed Twin is about 1500 less, I think, something like that. Probably a bit more. So, yeah, it's definitely a competitor, but I mean, uh, the problem with this particular bike is the price more than anything. Yeah, that's uh, I'm liking this a lot, but uh, yeah, for me, it's a price. Uh, it will be an issue more than anything you know it should be a couple of grand less really but still if you want uh, an entry level Harley sports stuff what have we got here? This is the entry level Harley, I think now. You know, if, this is a good place to be. If you locks the beds. <laughs> Once you dart into it, you can hustle this around. Yeah, feedback from the uh, race is brilliant. So it could have been a little bit more progressive, but far from that, they're great. Clutch fever feels nice. And it's actually reasonably smooth, to be honest. Yeah, there's not much in terms of uh, vibes or anything surprisingly yeah this would be a perfect uh, B road blaster on a sunny Sunday afternoon Obviously this isn't a bike you're going to go touring on, I don't think. <laughs> I mean you can, as you can with any bike, but... Uh, uh, 
has been my speed win. It, it wouldn't be my first choice of a touring bike. But uh, I'd be reasonably comfortable on here for a couple of hundred miles in a day. Just not every day. I'm not sure what the tyres are, but uh, seem to be getting reasonably good feedback from them as well. Get a good feel from the front end, to be honest, of what it's doing. Yeah, the start of show for me is that engine. It's an absolute peach. It's so tractable. So now I've dialed into it. It's a great bike. 